Get set, a new statewide mask mandate in Oregon is coming as the current wave of COVID-19 pushes area hospitals to capacity. At 10 o'clock, I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Elizabeth Dinn. Now to the hospitalization curve from OHSU, and you can see it right here. And that big spike there, and at the end closer to Jeff, yet another spike. We are up to 635, so just seven patients shy of that November peak. And OHSU doctors say if we don't do anything to stop the spread now, hospitals won't have enough beds for everyone who needs one. Our Lindsay Nadrich joining us live tonight with those concerning numbers. Lindsay. Well, the Oregon Health Authority says we've hit a record number of cases with a one day total of more than 2300 cases. I should mention, though, that does include some numbers from the weekend. But OHSU says the fifth wave of COVID is here and hospitals are nearing capacity. Once again, health officials are asking us to mask up and practice social distancing as COVID case numbers surge. The situation across the state is frankly dire and as you will soon see is to pro is projected to become significantly worse. By September 7th, OHS Hughes says Oregon will be short 400 to 500 needed staffed hospital beds if we don't take steps now to slow the spread. Already, the number of people hospitalized is close to what we saw at the height of the pandemic in December of 2020. OHSU says hospitals were already full of people who put off medical care because of the pandemic, and now they're filling up with COVID patients. 30% of the ICU at OHSU is COVID patients, 95% of whom are unvaccinated. We are seeing a drastic increase in patients hospitalized due to COVID-19. Many of these patients are younger and sicker than previous surges that we've witnessed. Health officials say it's because the Delta variant spreads two to three times faster, even when people are vaccinated. So one infected person originally spread it to three other people. Now one person infects eight others, according to OHSU. We are on a trajectory that will overwhelm our hospital system and get a lot of people sick, even if they're not hospitalized they'll become infected with COVID. So if you are unvaccinated, they're asking that you stay home. And whether you're vaccinated or not, they're asking you to wear a mask, physically distance, and get together outside if you have to meet up with people. On top of that, Governor Brown just announced both state employees will now be required to get vaccinated by October 18th, or six weeks after a COVID-19 vaccine receives full FDA approval, whichever is later. She also says there are plans for a statewide indoor mask mandate. In Multnomah County, masks were already going to be required indoors starting Friday. We reached out to the governor's office to find out when the statewide ma mask mandate will start, and we're told that won't be announced until tomorrow. Reporting live, I'm Lindsay Natterich, Coin 6 News.